Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited to be here with you today to do a makeup tutorial for you on the look that I have on my face right now. And this is a lighter touch look for me. I think in the past I was pretty guilty of using very dark colored eyeshadows. And lately I've been lightening up on the colors that I use on my eyes. And you all have been asking me what it is that I'm wearing. And amazingly enough, what I'm wearing is very inexpensive. And it is these two palettes. They're the Profusion palettes that you can get from Walmart. Each one is very inexpensive, maybe $10, $11 a palette, fabulous palettes. And so I'll be showing you how I apply those in just a few moments. But before I get into that, I just like to share a detail about my life. Today is a great day for me. It is the day my first child, Dylan, was born 37 years ago. He was born tonight at 11.51, just nine minutes before Mother's Day. I should have held out a little more so he could have been born on Mother's Day, but I am so excited. Tonight we're having Dylan and his fiance, Melanie, over for dinner, and my parents are coming. And how we're doing that is I have a very large kitchen, and I'm setting my parents over at the little kitchen dining table Melanie and Dylan are sitting on the couch and I will put a blanket under them because I noticed one time I didn't and they got something on my couch. And then Alan and I will be sitting about eight feet away from Melanie and Dylan eating by the fireplace because even though states have started to open up and Kansas has started to open up, the COVID virus does not know that the state is open or closed. All it knows is that it wants to spread. And as far as me and Alan, we are going to keep kind of observing those sheltering in place rules wearing masks and gloves when we're out. But we're also going to have people over, but we're just going to have them at a distance. And how we do that is we leave the front door open. We no longer go when they ring the bell and give them a hug. Unfortunately, no hugs, but we let them all just come in and they know beforehand that we're going to socially distance. And that's the way we're handling it. And if you all would like to share what you're now doing, whether you're sheltering in place or you don't think you need to do that, please just give me a comment in the comment section below and let me know maybe how you're handling it and some ways you're dealing with the situation. Or if you have some great light makeup ideas, you can share that too. Okay, that's enough of that personal stuff. Let me take off this makeup and I'll show you how I got this look. Okay, here we are up close and personal. And I'm going to be using for foundation one of my favorites. And this is the Peach Perfect Too Faced Foundation. And it is in the color Nude. Absolutely love this one. And I'll just do a few little drops here. I'm trying to go a little bit lighter on the amount of foundation I use and just apply it kind of in the middle and then go ahead and leave the outside of my face a little more bare of foundation. And I'm using my Sigma foundation brush. It's a flat kabuki, I think, and it is absolutely fabulous. About four spritzes of the Urban Decay All Nighter to glide that foundation around. I should have put a little bit under my chin. I didn't do that, but I'll go ahead and drag it down this way because you really do want your face to match your neck and it never quite does. Even if you get a really good match, it's a little bit, usually a little bit of a warmer color. I don't like super warm foundations. I generally like nudes. However, I've noticed a little bit of warmth it does make us look a little younger and glowier. And I love how this brush smooths the foundation on without a lot of lines and brush marks. Let me see. And I already have eyeshadow primer on. And this is the Milani eyeshadow primer. Absolutely love this. It's less than $10, maybe around $6 or $7. And it does a beautiful job. There we go. And this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I absolutely love this concealer. I did a video, which I'll link below, where I compared this to Tarte Shape Tape, and it came out actually better than the Tarte Shape Tape, in my opinion. And it is less expensive, which is always good. And here is my Sigma Precision Angled Brush. I love this for putting on concealer. I use it every single day. There we go on that side. And I drag the concealer up on my lids because it just gives you a little more of a surface to adhere that eyeshadow to. And the eyeshadows I'm going to be showing you this morning, I absolutely love. And they're like $10 at Walmart. They're amazing. There we go. I got foundation in my eyebrows. Now I absolutely love this powder that I use. And I like to do it like that. Just turn it upside down. There it is. You get a little on the lid there. And I'm using my Sigma Large Powder Brush. 
and I just dab that all over my face and neck and see how it just beautifully nulls out. Look at my forehead and how shiny that is. This is the best powder I have ever used. It is a Chanel powder and I'll link it below. It is absolutely wonderful. And I must have 50 powders, a lot of powders. But see how that just gives you a very flawless finish, nulls out the pores, definitely nulls out the shine, and it does not get cakey through the day. Absolutely love this powder. What is it called? The Powder Universal is what that is. Okay, let's get into eyes. And I've been using this Perfusion Chocolates palette. There it is. I'm using this row here and then this little color underneath my lower lashes. First, I'll go in with this color called Illusion. And it just kind of goes right on the lid. The thing I like about these shadows is they stay on all day. And even the highlights are beautiful in this shadow set. And mostly, I find that highlighting shadows, you have to go expensive to get ones that adhere. But this one stays all day, and it's absolutely wonderful. These Profusion palettes are amazing. I would put them up against any high-end eyeshadow palette. Okay, there are the lids. And for the brow, I'm going to mix a little bit of this color called Polite and this color called Gentle. And I'll just put that up here. It doesn't really bother me that I still have the highlight color on on the brush a little bit. Now I'm going to go in and do the crease and I'm using this little light brown color called Likeable. Just there in the crease. I'll drag it a little bit onto the outside of the, of the lid. There you go, right there in the crease. And I'll just drag it a little bit down on the outside of that lid. These shadows do put off a little bit of powder, but if you remember to tamp off your brush, you're just fine. Sometimes I don't. And on that glittery highlight shade, I end up wearing sparkly glitters all over my cheeks, which isn't good. Drag it in. Now I'm going to use the Sigma pencil brush and take a little bit of this color called Adventurous and just take it right under my lower lashes. I do this makeup pretty much every day now that we've been sheltering in. And it's a little lighter than what I normally do in terms of the color of the brown. And I'm really finding that a lighter brown transition color does me favors in terms of looking a little younger. Okay, there are the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the Pure Arch Nemesis on my brows, and this is in the color Light. And I'm just going to go in and fill in the sparse areas on the inside there, cover up the grays. I love this eyeliner pencil. It does cover up the grays, and it really lasts all day long. Drawing myself some tails there. So there is that brow. We're going in on this side. Quite a few grays over here. You know, really, we're so lucky as females that we get to wear makeup. The guys can do nothing about gray brows and almost nothing about gray hair unless they dye it, which would be a hassle when you have inch-long hair to keep it dyed and keep those roots from showing. So there are the brows, and I keep them in place with this NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Love this. It looks just like a little mascara wand there. And it keeps the brows firmly in place, just like you've hairsprayed them. And my brows, for those of you who watch my channel know, sometimes my brows really get askew and funky because I've forgotten to wear brow gel. Just kind of put those in place. And they are basically hairsprayed and ready for the day. Now for eyeliner, I'm using this Pure On Point Eyeliner. It's a self-sharpening eyeliner. And it is in the color, what is it? It is in the color Down to Earth. And that's how the tip looks. It's a self-sharpening tip, and I absolutely love that. There's one. Do the other. There's the eyeliner, and I just pull it up at the corners a little bit. My grandmother always called that happy eyes, so happy eyes. Now, in the interest of time, I'm going to do my mascara offline. I'll be curling my lashes with this wonderful Surratt Eyelash Curler, the best I've ever found, and I'll be using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. 
Okay, there are my mascara eyes using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Love that. Now I'm going to go in with a little L'Oreal Peach Corrector Stick to correct the black spots that are right by my nose. See how that just lifts that up? See this side? I love this. I don't use this every day, but when I'm going to some place where I want to look just a little more special, I will remember to do that. Now I'm going to go into another Profusion palette called Eye and Cheek, and this is an absolutely great one. I've used a lot of the eyeshadows in this palette. Fantastic if you want an Eye and Cheek palette. And I'll go in and use my little blush brush, and this is a cheapie from Walmart from years ago, but I never have found anything I like better. I'm going to go into this orangey color called Lush Blush, and I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones because as we get older, everything falls and we want our cheeks to look lifted up. And so don't put it down here on the apples. They always tell you to do apples, but it does look better if you go right on the top. Kind of lifts them up. Gives you a little facelift there. And I like this color because it does look natural. Sometimes I mix it a little bit with the color below it. Maybe I'll do that. I'll get a little bit of brightness there with that more pink color. Now, I always like to go right in the middle of my forehead. I don't know why. Just because it kind of maybe matches the cheeks to the forehead. I'm kind of a matching color person. I definitely am a decor. I like to use like three colors in a room and that's about it. Now, to bring in the sides of my face and make things look a little more narrow because I'm a little wide through there, I love this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. And the reason I like it, I'll go ahead with the highlight shape first. The reason I like it is because you really can't mess it up. I do not like those bronzers where you can use them under your cheekbones and it looks like you have a Hershey bar there. I don't like that. I like the ones where you can't really mess it up and that it always looks natural. Look how natural that highlight looks. When you highlight your nose, just go down about halfway. I'll do a little highlight down here. Cupid's bow, but there's that highlighter. Now I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury brush and sculpt that cheekbone. Look how much more lifted this cheekbone is and how much slimmer that makes my face look. I absolutely love this Film Star Bronze and Glow. There we are, we're both sides. Now I'll do a little along the chin line and we all start to get a little baggy and saggy there. And this really does help just chisel that chin. I also put it under here and below my chin. And it really doesn't look brown too much. Now I'll put a little bit up here to narrow out my forehead, which <laughs> it's almost not possible to do that. I have a heck of a forehead. I guess I have a big brain. Okay, there's that Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow Film Star Palette. Okay, now let's get into the lips. And I love the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liners. This is their Lip Cheat Liner called Super Size Me, which is a nice neutral pink color. There we go. Now I'm going to be using a Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in the color 235 Warm Me Up. There that color is. Very nice. Nice pinky nude. Kind of rosy, actually. So there we are so far. Now to put a little shimmer on my lips and make them look just a little larger, I'm going in with this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Gloss, and it is in Pillow Talk. And I love that lipstick too. Just a little in the middle. And that just plumps your lips out and gives them a little shine. So that is a look at my Lighter Touch makeup. It's reasonable in price for the most part, and I have been using it almost every single morning. I know that seems like a lot of steps to some of you, especially since I am still sheltering in place, but it just makes me feel better to go through my normal routine, to apply the makeup I would normally apply if I'm going out the door to work in the morning, because all through the day, I just feel a little bit more put together, and if I have to run out to the store or something like that, I just feel like myself, which I really appreciate. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging and in feeling and looking your best at any age, I hope you'll click that little bell and subscribe to my channel. Would really appreciate that. And or give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I'm reading from these Miracles Now cards by Gabrielle Bernstein. And let's go ahead and choose a card something positive to think about for today. Let's see what it says. 
When I allow others to support me, I support them too. When I allow others to support me, I support them too. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it is something that in my first half it was very difficult for me to do and I have to admit that even now it is hard for me to let others give to me. I, I don't know, I get embarrassed, I feel like, oh gosh, let me do something for you. I, I mean, it just makes me uncomfortable to allow others to help me. And so sometimes when they say, how are things going? I just say, oh, they're fine. And actually maybe at that moment they're not fine and I could share something about myself and maybe they could give me a little support in the situation, something like that. And you know, it's really important to remember this because really this is one of the keystones of friendship. Friendship can't just be a one-way thing where you're always out there giving and giving and giving, giving support to others. You also have to open up and be a little vulnerable, share some details about yourself and let others give to you too. Because you know, that's the true secret of a good friendship. Both sides should feel good about giving and good about receiving too. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.